Hi everyone. It has been a little minute since I last filmed a video and I've had a whole bunch of new products that I've collected over the time period that I haven't been vlogging and I thought that today is the day that I need to share them with you because I have got a fantastic range of new products and I can't wait to try them out with you. Some of them I have already tried but majority of them I haven't because I've been saving them for this particular video. So let's dive into it. I'm going to be doing my usual routine but using the makeup that I have collected here and all the new products so that if there are any that I haven't yet tried I can try them out with you. So to start off with I'm going to be using these new products. Um, you will have already seen a blog post about them because I think they're fantastic. They're the Clarence new SOS primers and you get them in a whole bunch of different colors. So you've got the green one to combat redness, which I actually need. Um, I've got the purple one here for brightening skin and then I have got the pink one here to minimize signs of fatigue. So today I'm going to be using the one for fatigue just because it's been a long week so I'm just going to be dotting that on my face and I think that these products are so great because they have a pump they're not just a tube so for hygiene reasons I really really approve of these so now we are going to move on to foundation so I don't have a new foundation so I'm just going to be going in with one that I absolutely love and unfortunately I'm out of my two high-end favorites so my two high-end favorites if you would really really like to use those are the Clarins uh, Everlasting Foundation and the Elizabeth Arden Flawless Finish Foundation I think the finishes on these two are just phenomenal they are so so impressive it's a velvety finish and it just looks fantastic I think it's most beautiful foundation that looks like your skin is flawless without looking like you're wearing makeup even though it is full coverage if it makes any sense at all it is a beautiful formulation in each of those but um if you are looking for a drugstore product that can compete this uh, l'oreal paris infallible 24 hour foundation is also absolutely phenomenal so i also like it because it comes in a tube so if you're traveling you don't need to worry about being too precious with it and i'm going in with a foundation brush from urban decay and i'm just going to apply that very quickly very lightly onto my skin so i'm going to be doing a no makeup makeup look today with the products that i have newly attained and I have to say I've been getting, excuse my voice, I've been quite ill lately, but um, I have to say that I have been getting a lot of requests for um, basic makeup tutorials. So like for newbies to makeup that really want to up their game, but aren't quite sure about which products to use, when to use them, how to use them, etc. I know it can be a little bit daunting if you don't know what you're doing but really if you are looking to up your game these simple steps that I'm doing today are going to be able to give you a very quick and easy no makeup makeup look for beginners and you're going to look flawless as is I promise <laughs> it's like a better version of yourself without being too dramatic okay so I've just applied a little bit of that as you can see and a little bit goes a long way I really do love this foundation so as I mentioned that's not a new one but it's one that I would repurchase over and over and over again okay so next up let me mention the Urban Decay All Nighter uh, new launches because they are pretty exciting so the All Nighter foundation has now come out um, I think that came out last year, if I'm not mistaken. I might be talking nonsense about that. But the All Nighter Foundations have just come out. And so I have got three over here. Um, the packaging is just absolutely unreal. It's like so 
I don't know what it is. It's just like phenomenal. It's, is it even focusing? Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, it's just like an artistic, new, very funky kind of packaging. And I think they're beautiful. So I've got those concealers, which are high coverage and long wearing um, concealers, which are the only thing that I look for in a concealer. I can't handle a, um, a light coverage, fun, um, not foundation. I can't handle a light a coverage concealer. If it's going to conceal, it must conceal properly. And it mustn't cake. Because if it cakes, I'm going to throw it in the rubbish bin and tear my hair out. So those ones I'm really impressed with because I have already tried one. Um, the only reason I've tried one is because I happen to be the shade Fair at the time. Um, so I haven't yet tried the others because I normally base my concealer and my foundation based on what my um, tanning routine is at that particular point in time, which I think is highly <laughs> suggested. Because you don't want a pale face and then a tanned body, obviously. Okay, then I have also got Elizabeth Arden's new concealers. And now I have to admit that when I opened the packaging and I saw that the concealers come in a stick form like this. So it looks almost like a lipstick packaging, but it's a concealer. I thought there's no ways I'm going to get on with this because it is going to be too thick. It's going to be the kind of concealer that you need to use on a spot as opposed to under your eyes um, because it'll be too thick. It'll crease. It'll be a sloppy mess and it's just not going to work for me. And I have to say I've been blown away. So you can see this particular concealer. Um, I have been using quite a bit already and I'm so impressed with it and even more so is the texture that it leaves on your skin it's a velvety finish and I'm obsessed with velvety finishes as I've already mentioned those two foundations that I love are velvety finishes and so I absolutely love these I think they are so fantastic I was actually blown away by them the quality is superb like absolutely superb so my first impression really really wasn't it didn't even match how I really feel about them now so um, I definitely recommend them and then I have another concealer here that uh, has been all over YouTube so I think you might be able to guess it it is the YSL to Shekla uh, concealer it is one of these pen forms so it's similar to max prep and prime concealer which by the way I also love um, so it comes in this little pen form and you have to push it uh, if I'm honest I had to push it quite a bit before any product came out but it is a fantastic fantastic concealer and I have to say that I don't have to set this concealer at all because usually the concealers that I've used in the past I have had to bake with them as you've seen in my tutorials I normally have to bake with them to get them to stay and also not to crease so to get that uh, full coverage I need to always bake them with a translucent powder or baby powder as you've seen that I love to do so um, now I'm in a little bit of a conundrum which one to pick so I'm not picking one that's better than the other because I truly believe that all of these have blown out any other concealer I have ever used in my entire life out of the water because it just so happened in the past month these three arrived and these three are all so so highly recommended by me I cannot put more of my stamp of approval on these products they are so so good so now to pick one is really difficult um, Okay, so because these two are liquid um, concealers, I'm going to go with something different just so that you can see that this um, Elizabeth Arden Stick Concealer is not as thick and goopy as you would expect it to be. So I'm going to go with this one. So um, this one is the shade Fair. As you can see here, I'm going to be applying it just like I would be applying a liquid foundation. I'm going to apply it on the bridge of my nose. I'm going to apply it on my forehead. 
and a little bit above my lip so then I'm going to go and use a damp beauty blender which I would have used had I used a normal uh, liquid foundation or liquid concealer um, and I'm just going to blend that in in exactly the same way and you can already see the effects so now I love the fact that I don't need to powder it at all and it's going to stay it's going to stay all day long at work it's going to stay all day long um, from day to evening or if you're going out in the evening it's going to stay all evening too so I am thoroughly thoroughly impressed by this concealer um, and as you can see the coverage is really really lovely so I'm very happy with that so if you really wanted more coverage you could go in again um, which I might do here just so that you are able to see and I'm going to apply a little bit more um, maybe a little bit more than that and now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a darker concealer as a contouring shade as well just since that I have them um, so that you can see the multi-purpose use of a concealer or a foundation that is not in your correct color because that happens from time to time I mean you do change color you do fake tan you do go away on holiday and change color so I mean you don't want to be constantly repurchasing makeup so rather use what you've got so I'm going to apply let me see I'm going to apply deep also from Elizabeth Arden or should I use should I change it up and use something um let's see how dark this one is okay so I'll use a little bit of the um, medium light neutral urban decay concealer just for a very light very neutral kind of contouring on my face so as you can see I'm just applying it along my hairline and down my cheekbones and I'll con I was going to say conceal it is concealer but um, I'm going to just blend that all in with my damp beauty blender I always find that a damp beauty blender works best so there we go it's very very subtle but if you're new to makeup and you don't want this really dramatic kind of look um, where you've painted your face and I mean, I'm all for painting my face from time to time. But just because this is going to be a natural look, this is what we are going to be doing. So there you can see. The concealer has been used for contouring and it has been used for under eye concealer and to highlight my face. And I think it has done a really good job so far. So it looks very subtle, um, but quite polished. If you did want to go over that with a powdered foundation, uh, a powdered bronzer, um, you'd be more than welcome to. And I probably would, um, but we'll just keep it basic this time around. So now I have another lovely product. I've actually got two products from Elizabeth Arden that are powdered foundations. So I have got this lovely packaging over here and this is the shade and uh, neutral beige it's a flawless finish so it kind of complements this uh, foundation it's the same range the flawless finish range and so the packaging is amazing because it comes in a little compact and then you flip it up I don't want to blind you but there um, you will have the powder and then if you tip it up again you have the sponge over there so you can pack this in your handbag and you can blot away whenever you're out and about but um, today um, I think I'm going to be using the lighter one and this is bare I think this is lighter in any event yeah it is a bit lighter so I'll use bare and you don't necessarily need to use this step I don't normally powder my face because my skin is quite dry um, so I'm just going to take a little light stippling brush and tap that in there and then I will just brush it over the edge of my 
contouring and my hairline. Um, just for a little bit of colour, but not much. Just very subtle. So there we go. Um, I quite like that product. Um, and then I have another Elizabeth product, Elizabeth Arden product here. This is a translucent powder. So if you're into baking and you want to set your um, your cheekbones and define those, or if you want to set your concealer under your eyes, uh, this is probably the product for you. It's beautiful packaging, by the way. It's really nice. So you've got the mirror on the top, which is great. Um, most translucent powders don't normally have that. It has the same sponge. And then you can tip it up again, or actually you twist it, and then you have got your little pots of translucent powder over there. So you can tip that up, and then if you want to, you can go ahead. I'm just going to wipe this brush off, and I'm just going to powder the center of my face with this translucent powder to set everything. Um, yeah, so it just depends whether you have got dry skin or um, oily skin. If you've got oily skin, you're definitely going to want to set. But as I mentioned, because I have dry skin, I generally don't have to. Unless I'm using a concealer that I previously used, which I'm no longer using now that I've found these amazing ones. Um, okay, so that's what you do with the translucent powder. It just sets everything so that you are happy and um, I would recommend this even if you want a dewy finish and you've got oily skin because you can always go in with a um, setting spray and that's going to make you dewy in any event but your makeup's going to stick and it's going to hold so right let's move on an amazing product that has arrived um, this is the YSL eyeshadow liquid it's called full metal shadow and so you, it looks like a lip gloss application, but it's not. It's for your eyes. So I know I said this is going to be basic makeup, but oh well. We're going to go ahead with this. It blends out really nicely, so it can still be basic. And I think it can also be basic because it's really easy to use. So you only need this in your makeup bag and you'll have a makeup look that's fully put together. So I'm going to be using a angled brush here and I'm just going to blend in this eyeshadow liquid. And once you get more into makeup, you can actually apply your liquid eyeshadows underneath your powdered eyeshadows to get really dramatic looks and to get them long wearing. So if you follow Kim Kardashian or somebody else that's big into makeup, you will find that their makeup artists generally start with a cream eyeshadow or liquid eyeshadow first and then build on top. So I have blended that all out and as you saw that took next to no time at all. And I'm just going to leave it like that because we're doing basic. So then I'm going to be going in with a pencil. So now I've got amazing pencils here from YSL. Um, this YSL pencil is great. It's got the brown pencil on this side. I don't know what color this is. Oh, it's number six with that brown shade. And then it's got a sponge on the other side. I don't like this sponge. I find it a bit rough on my eyes and I'd probably use a brush to blend it in anyway. Um, but it is a really great pencil. And then uh, I have the Elizabeth Arden a high drama eyeliner in the shade Espresso, and this is a really really nice shade too. I love this applicator. This applicator has got an angle, which the other one does too, but this is a pointed angle. So you can actually create a winged liner with this if you wanted to. So I'm not going to go too dramatic and I'm probably not going to do a winged liner. But I'm just going to line my lash line here. Um, this creates a much fuller look in terms of your eyelashes. So I barely ever do eyeshadow without filling in my lash line too. So now I'm just going to use that applicator on the end and just blend that all in. 
so you don't have any harsh lines because you never want any harsh lines and you can see it already looks a little bit bolder at the bottom so you've got that gradation of shades and it's going to look really nice when you apply it mascara I'm going to use this um, Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara and you would have seen this in a video where I did a whole bunch of unboxings mm, I can't remember which video that was but anyway you probably would have seen it already and I hadn't used it in that video I just unboxed it and I've fallen in love with this mascara so if you're looking for a new drugstore mascara this one is the one to get so you know that i use the maybelline great lash mascara have done for years swear by it i'd rather use it over a high-end mascara any day of the week um but this one is a great contender for that one i'm really really impressed by it so the one is curved so you do need to just pay attention to that otherwise you end up with mascara all over your face which we do not want then i'm going in to do my brows my brows i don't have a new product here to share with you very sorry i'm going in with um my benefits uh what is this called goof proof goof proof goof proof yeah i do love this one so here because we're doing basic i'm just going to be applying on the outer edges of my my eyebrows just so that I've got a full, full eyebrow and then I'm going to comb it all through. So nothing dramatic. I'm not going crazy. Um, just giving myself a little bit more uh, definition than I would have had because my eyebrows tend to thin out towards the edge. And yeah, so that's what we're doing with that. Okay, blush. I don't have a new blush to share with you there either. So I think I might just use a drugstore blush. My favorite one, you've seen it so many times. I've actually hit pan on it. Very, very sad day. Um, this is the Maybelline um, Face Studio. And it's in the shade Rose Madison. Um, so I'm just going to be applying that on the apples of my cheeks. And that little bit of color can really pull your whole face together. I'm going to go in with a new... Um, a new lipstick this one is also a pretty neutral one so great for if you're starting out with makeup this is the urban decay makeup uh, urban decay lipstick in the shade uh, naked so it is a nude pink there you should be able to see it um, yeah so it is fantastic I've had it about a month and you can see I'm already halfway through so let me go and apply that So there we are with that as you can see it's a very very pretty soft nude with a little bit of pink which is my ultimate favorite now I don't go a day without some highlights so I'm gonna kick it old school with um this is a MAC highlighter this is the shade um soft and gentle and you can see it is nearly finished it is very nearly gentle uh, finished so my sister um, has a new one that I'm going to be purchasing and it's called Lightscapade so if you're as pale as I am which I'm presuming you're not because this is very unusual um, if you're looking for a really nice highlighting shade for somebody that's extremely pale Lightscapade by MAC is the one that you want if you are a normal shade or any other shade, um, this one, Soft and Gentle, has been an absolute love of mine since I was 21. I think this one I must have even had since the age of 21. I've been through a couple of them, but this one's just stuck around. It's even in the old packaging. It looks awful, but I love it, so I don't care. All right, so um, other than that, I don't have too much on the makeup side of things to share with you. I do, however, have this um, oil 
from Urban Decay that I think I should mention because it is the Urban Decay Drop Shot Mix-In Facial Oil and I love facial oils. I've got the MAC one right here. This is a Prep and Prime Essential Oil which I love. You can see I've been through quite a bit of it and these oils are fantastic because you can apply them to your skin as is so after you've done your uh, skincare routine you can apply your oil which is highly recommended. If not and you have a mascara, not a mascara, sorry. If you have a foundation that you would like to be a little bit thinner or a little bit dewier and give you a little bit of glow, you can add a couple drops because it is a dropper. You add a couple drops into your foundation when you pump it onto your hand, mix it in and then you can apply it to your face and it gives you a really dewy look. You can also go and apply this oil under your foundation so after you've done your skin prep you can apply a little bit of this oil and then leave it to soak in for a little bit and then about a minute or two later you can go in and apply your foundation which makes it look really fantastic too so last off i'm going to share with you the urban decay setting sprays which i'm obsessed with i'm absolutely obsessed with so before this i always used mac Fix Plus, which now I reserve pretty much for um, doing metallic eyeshadows, and occasionally if I feel like I need a little bit of a spritz, I'll use it. But in terms of makeup setting sprays, the only one that I will use is this All Night About Urban Decay. You've seen me use it a whole bunch. I'll take my um, spray and I will literally shower myself in this and my makeup will not budge all night long if I do my makeup at 7 in the morning it will still be on my face at midnight it will still be on my face at 2 o'clock in the morning it lasts, it doesn't budge it's phenomenal and so now they have brought out the all nighter pollution protect which I love I love that skincare and makeup are now really taking notice of the fact that the pollution and our environmental situations are really affecting our skin and we need to combat that so this one is a new one it is fantastic i'm going to use it right now to show you how much i love it and yeah kudos to urban decay for taking up the initiative and they have done so in their primers as well you've seen me use their primers that are environmentally protective so i love 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 that so they've also got this um, Urban Decay Collagen Infused complex, uh, Complexion Prep and Priming Spray so you can always go and use that instead of a primer um, which I obviously didn't because I wanted to show you the Clarence one today but um, it's definitely worth mentioning these Urban Decay sprays I'm telling you guys they are phenomenal so anyway so that is my little um, basic makeup look I hope that you like it. It's very simple. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? I always have lipstick on my teeth. I've got Bugs Bunny teeth, but anyway. So that is the look that we're going with today. It is super simple, as you can see. Um, but I hope that it was helpful. I hope that if you're looking to dive into makeup and learn a little bit more, that these simple steps can be applied for any kind of makeup and um, it's just a matter of building onto this so building up your eyeshadows or um, doing your liners and uh, your winged liners and things like that but uh, in terms of basic this is it this is what you need to know so um, I hope you really enjoyed this video please let me know if you did um, you can comment down below and I would love your feedback and Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.